Excuse me, might I ask something? Hail, young one. I believe you might be lost. We deal only in business here, not sundries. If you are looking to make a purchase, you should visit our shop in town. I am terribly sorry about this sudden intrusion. An acquaintance of mine runs a similar trade, and I wondered if I might inquire about your business here. Well, well. I am never too busy to lend an ear to a fellow entrepreneur. Except maybe this very moment, unfortunately. I'm in a bit of a predicament here, you see. It's a long story. Truly? I do hope you will forgive me my intrusion. I had no means of knowing so, if you'll excuse me then. Though I'd be plenty appreciative if you'd lend your ear. Yes. I've been a merchant since I was hardly but a boy, albeit one plagued by an awful sense of direction from the start, mind you. But I found the more I lost my way, the more people I met. With this new network of connections, I found myself dubbed Ruddle, the Merchant King. Oh, how marvelous. So what in the world could trouble the Merchant King? Yes, well, I've since tried to pass the family trade to my boy and five apprentices, you see. I recently sent them off to ply their own trades, but not a one of them seems to have reached their destination from what I can tell. Perhaps they've inherited more from me than just my good business sense. I'm terribly worried that they've all gone astray. I feel all but helpless. I see, I see. Oh, if it is quite all right with you, I do believe I may be able to assist. My business would see me traveling far and wide as it were, so perhaps I could search for them. <gasps> would you? Oh, you're too kind! Someone is bound to have seen them. Please, ask around. Gather as much info as you can. Should the young merchants reach their destinations, the towns they set out for will benefit greatly from the wonderful wares they can offer. I can offer no promises, but I shall try. Did you come this way soaring through the clouds? Is that some fad of late? I came across a child high up on a ledge in the Tynes as well. If only Semiomancy could send me gliding over those mountains. appears trapped up there with no way down. Little Duma, hurry! We simply must help them! on behalf of the Ruddle Company. This area is rarely traveled, and all those who did pass by simply smiled and waved. A woman earlier did mention seeing someone causing a ruckus out in these hills. Perhaps that was you she crossed paths with. I was only calling for help, I'll have you know. Desperately, even. I was out harvesting herbs when the Harpia got me. Next thing I knew, I was up there. A harrowing experience, I am sure. Do be more careful on your return. Hang on now. You would truly leave me here? Could you at least lead me to Larset Village? Pardon me, but that seems a bit much to ask, no? And, well, I have matters to attend to myself, and I am not headed in the direction of Larset. But surely... Ah, but the village of Ada is not far from here. Why not pay a visit? It is a charming place. Ah, right. Yes. 
My apologies for asking even more of you after all that you've already done for me. That was bad form. I shall head for the village of Ada, as you suggest. Oh, here. A token of gratitude. Uh, thanks for your help. Ta-ta! Oh! Uh, perhaps it would have been best to accompany her to the village. Brave Knights Red. Well, that was... Are you unwell? Please, share my water. This water will simply not suffice. I feel I am unfit to live in this cruel world. You must not speak such. Perhaps you would rather some berries instead? No nectar wrung from even the sweetest berry could provide succor. I am bereft of all morale. Morale? Uh, might this be the sort of thing you are after? Here, do drink up. Yes, yes! Morale courses through my veins. Oh, thank heavens. You gave me quite the scare. Lucas of the Ruddle Company, at your service. I owe you my life. I managed to make it all the way to Nilbeth, but the waters here caused me to fall quite ill. And the heat and dehydration stole away my appetite. I was left without an ounce of oomph. Any trace of drive must have withered away while I was in such a state. Pray take this for bolstering my morale once more. Until our paths cross again. Toodaloo! Stay well! Oh, you folks here all the way from our series? Tell me, youngins, have you by chance ever heard of an art peddler out in Kato? Oh, a wee time ago, a merchant here studying Valian art headed off for Kato, you see. Oh, I hope the people of Osarius develop a taste for Valian craftwork. You know what, though? I still worry if the poor soul ever made it across the border, though. Be a right shame if he got himself into trouble. Let me out! Somebody! Anybody! Unlock this door and release me at once! Kato awaits my arrival! Is something amiss? Those shouts can be heard for quite some distance. Damn fella's been like that since the moment we brought him in! It's unbearable! We nabbed him after reports of someone creeping around the fort, but we can't even get a testimony out of him with all his hooting and hollering. Is that right? Oh, surely such luggage means... Uh, might I suggest a search of his effects? Perhaps there is no need to hold him should he carry nothing of concern. Ah, good idea. Anything is better than just listening to him carry on like that. Just lugging around junk, eh? All right then, get out of here! Junk, he says! Each piece here is a veritable work of art! Now, now... Let us not give reason to be locked up once more. <sighs> right. Yes. Thank you for your assistance. That witless oaf wouldn't deign to even give me the time of day. Held under false pretenses, though you may have been, no amount of shouting will appeal to your captors. Keep that in mind. Such times are when a level head will serve you well. You're smarter than you look. Has anyone ever told you that before? Hmm, 
I suppose you think me but some sheltered young maiden? Nevertheless, you are now free. I take you a merchant of the Ruddle Company. You should now be free to ply your trade. I see. How exactly do you know the company I work for? You might say it took but one look. Truly now? Well, well, well. Color me impressed. Here, take this as a token of my thanks. I'll have even better wares for sale once I set up my stall in Kato. Feel free to come by should you ever find yourself lacking in culture. Now then, I have no time to waste. So long! Thank you kindly. Could this be considered art? Hey, if you run into my friend out there, could you tell them to come back home? They left with some crazy idea of setting up shop in the Delric Mines. But that place is no playground. Some of the mines are abandoned and my friend could really get hurt. Enemies, dead ahead. I see them. Hello, is someone there? Is everything quite all right? Oh, oh, it's a person! Oh my! Oh, thank goodness! Oh, oh, I was so scared and, and alone! Oh, oh. Now, now, there is no need for tears. Come, let us make our way for the surface. You disguised yourself as a miner to slip down there unnoticed. These abandoned mines are quite dangerous, you know. Yes, you're, you're, you're right, but I just... I just really wanted to... You're all right. Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried. You need to be more careful. Oh, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. But, but there's, there's just something I had to get for you. Huh? You said you wanted to see this ore, so, so I came to get you some. W what do you think? W would you want to go out w with me now? Uh... Huh? Hmm. Was it truly for the best that I took that woman's gift in her stead? My girlfriend shot me down, sure, but I'm choosing to take this as an opportunity to start my life over. So, to, to get over her, I started by selling off every last thing I had collected for her. I probably should have done it from the start. And, and drop by my shop in town if you're ever interested in picking something up yourself. Sure have been harder around here since our young local merchant took off a short while back. Off to ply their trade in the city, I hear, but I'm not sure a merchant that shy can handle the city life. 
Say, you're a traveler, yes? If you happen to make your way to the city, could you perhaps keep an eye out for them? Let them know they're always welcome back here in the village, okay? It'd mean a lot. I ask what you are doing out all this way? Ah, who's there? Oh, forgive me, I became worried seeing you all alone. My name is Leticia. Uh, oh, is that so? Uh, my apologies. I am Kale of the Rettle Company. What business has you in a place such as this? The area is rife with monsters, you know. <laughs> that may be, but... The people of the royal city f frighten me even more. But surely the monsters pose more of a threat? Perhaps. But, you see, I left home for the city in the hopes of overcoming this f fear I have of the people. But I'm starting to believe I'm just not cut out to ply my, my trade around here. Might you be from Larset? The people there spoke of you, said you are always welcome back should you wish to return. Oh, they... they really said as much? Mm, but no, I've got to at least try. I was able to come this far only because the people of the village believed in me. I can't betray their faith. I will return to Larset only once the city has taught me all there is to learn about trade. An excellent idea, I say. I wish you the best. Thanks. Here, take this if you would. For helping me stand strong. For me? Oh, thank you kindly. May we meet again? Spotted some fella with a heap of luggage headed for Mount Cotterin. It's anyone's guess what the fool was doing. Everything about him was suspect, but I didn't get the feeling he was sinister. Wonder what his story is. Okay. So if I came from this way and north is that a ways, or is it over here? Might I ask what you are doing out here? <laughs> Don't sneak up on me like that! Who are you? Please, forgive me. I am Leticia. Uh, I'm Ruddle Jr. of the, the Ruddle Company. Traveling entrepreneur and businessman in, in training. <laughs> A pleasure, Ruddle Jr. Tell me, do you seek to open shop here? I was actually on my way to the royal capital of Asendros. A city like that is surely full of potential. Now, if I may, Osarius is indeed north of here, yes? Oh, no. You would need head east from here, I am afraid. Nonsense. The people of Kado assured me it lay to the north. From Kado, as much is true. But it would seem you have strayed off course. Well, then. I'm certainly lucky our paths crossed here, aren't I? Happy to be of service. Do take care on your way to the royal city. Many thanks. I have only the finest wares on proper. Take care. Well, that was indeed fruitful. Ready? 
Sure has been a lot more foot traffic through here since the war ended. Just saw a traveling merchant with a load of wares head off towards the Imperial capital. I guess business is booming. Sure do look different around here. Am I nearing or serious? My, do my eyes deceive me? Is that you, Rattle Jr.? Do your travels take you to the Imperial Capital next? No! Oh. oh, goodness, it's you. Thank you once again for your previous assistance. I'm sure I would have been quite lost without you. I'll have you know, however, your directions have yet to lead me to Osirius. Goodness, have you yet to reach the royal city? I must say you have traveled quite too far. You need to return north from here. Not again! And after coming so far amid those frightening bangs and booms along the coast. Surely you did not travel amidst the war. Well, rest assured, your travels shall be much safer now that the conflict is at an end. Is that so? I suppose it's time to reorient myself and make once more for a serious. Uh, thank you again for the directions. Farewell! Huh. I do hope he makes it this time. Am I? I think I came from... But that means that... Oh, which way was it now? Now there is a rather familiar silhouette. Uh, Ruddle Jr.? Oh, heavens rejoice! Impeccable timing. Where might we be now? I've completely lost track of the road to Osirius. The Royal City? Have you not reached it yet? You are quite close now, I assure you. Oh, good news at last! Finally a chance to seize the opportunities of the royal city! It would seem you have inherited your father's sense of direction after all. Oh, uh, you know my father then? Indeed. He worries over you so, and asks that I offer you and the others a hand should I encounter you. Has he now? <laughs> Goodness me! The man can be quite the overprotective worrywart, <laughs> I tell you. He is an excellent businessman, though, no doubt. I myself hope to one day carry the proverbial torch and run the company in his stead. Establishing a store in Osirius will be my first step on that path. Do stop by sometime should you ever need quality goods. Ah, yes! Please take this, if you would. Consider it a token of gratitude for all your assistance. Delightful. Thank you. Best of luck with the rest of your training then, Rettle Jr. Much obliged. Until next we meet. I do hope you will limit your activities to inside the city for a time. At long last, I've heard from each one of my apprentices. Most excellent news. You must feel freed from your troubles. You have my deepest gratitude. That's one of my worries taken care of, at least. It was but coincidence I encountered them on my journeys. Think nothing of... Did you say one? Uh, the next issue that nags at my mind is, well... You might say I find myself questioning the very path I chose to walk in life. Yes, well, perhaps we might discuss this another time. Long have I walked the proverbial merchant's path, yet... Hey! 